You live there? Okay. Welcome everyone to the PCS grad ceremony of 2020. So good to be here in this amazing weather. PCS, thanks to Simshan people for graciously allowing us to host this ceremony on their unceded territory. PCS, thanks to the city of Prince Rupert for allowing us to host this ceremony in our community's beautiful park. Finally, PCS thanks our beautiful planet for organizing such a brilliant day to celebrate these grads amongst the grandeur of the Northwest Coast. So let's give a round of applause for the Simshan people, Prince, the city of Prince Rupert, and the beautiful planet. Thank you. Um, PCS is uh, really excited uh, today to also be giving our grads a $50 gift certificate to the crest in lieu of their dinner. Every year we generally do uh, a dinner with, uh, with the grads, but sadly, uh, you know, because of social distancing and COVID, uh, we weren't allowed to do that. So we are giving them a $50 gift certificate today. I hope you guys uh, use that and have fun. And I'm going to try to make sure my papers do not blow away. I'm just going to start throwing them down there. Um, we're also very excited to have our first ever PCS grad sweaters. Um, I'll show them to you because they're really cool. I'm really excited. Only grads get them. <laughs> so only, only the grads of 2020 get them. So they're really cool. They say... Uh, PCS grad, uh, what is it, the quarantine class of 2020, okay, right, and then it says that, so we're really happy to be giving our grads, every one of them will get one of these uh, sweaters, okay, I better put this back in the right order. Um, so now that we've warmed up our hands with the applause and everything, I just want to go through a few things about social distancing. Uh, the city of Prince Rupert has graciously allowed us to do this, but with the uh, explicit idea that we will be socially distancing. So as you can see, we have all of uh, you kind of in your little uh, box on a piece of plywood, and everybody here in the area is, uh, is at least six feet apart. And we'd really like to ask everybody, uh, even outside, that if you could just please respect our uh, social distancing uh, rules, okay? and try to keep to your little uh, piece of plywood. I know some of you might have the urge to run up and really want to like take a picture of your grad and stuff like that, but we're just going to ask you to stay in your little bubble uh, so that we don't have people bumping into each other and, and stuff like that. Uh, so if I could just ask you that, that would be really great. Um, and the biggest thing is I really want to show, you know, the city of Prince Rupert and everybody here that we can actually hold an event like this in a socially distanced way and a COVID friendly way. Because uh, as far as I know, it's not going away anytime soon, but we still want to be able to hold these types of events and celebrate uh, in our community and our grads. Uh, okay, I'm going to throw that paper down there. Before I hand it off to Miss Rice, I would like to acknowledge and thank the following people who would have loved to have been here and uh, given their words of wisdom, but sadly, due to COVID-19 restrictions, uh, we couldn't allow them. There's James Horn, chair of the school uh, of the school board district or the district school board. Geez, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, James recorded a video which will be posted on our YouTube and Facebook site, so you can check that out. Joey Jack from the NDP sends his regrets, and Jennifer Rice, our MLA, NDP MLA, who uh, has sent a video, which will also be posted on our site. Uh, Colleen Wilson uh, has also said that uh, if anybody wants to do a, a drive parade, that after this she would be willing to uh, help. If she's got some colors, you can color up your car, you can drive, do the honky thing, it's really fun. I really like that. So uh, with that, I will hand it over to our Master of Ceremony, the illustrious Miss Rice. Woo! Hello, hello, hello. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Jans. I will just get my notes out here. <clears throat> I'm glad he told me that Mr. Horn wasn't going to be here because I would have been introducing him and waiting for him to come up and, you know, I would have looked really silly. Okay, so uh, good afternoon everyone and welcome to the Pacific Coast uh, School Graduation Quarantine Edition. 
Okay, we are here today at Mariners Park to celebrate these 10 young adults and the fact that they have all worked hard to achieve their adult graduation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, just one or two uh, sort of housekeeping things. Um, again, I remind you about the, the regulations around uh, proper social distancing. Uh, and um, also, uh, after the grad, the kids will have 60 minutes or an hour, depending on how you like to measure time, uh, to, uh, to have pictures taken in their gowns and their stoles and their hats. Um, please, at that, um, after, just take that hour and then have them return the, to the school, to PCS, to return their, ga their gowns and their stoles. They're allowed to keep their hats and their tassels, okay? Uh, please don't exceed the, the hour time slot. Um, and you should probably thank Mr. Jans for the hour time slot because I suggested 20 minutes and he said no, an hour. So, okay. Uh, lastly, also take this time right now to make sure the ringers are turned off on your phone, okay? Because I am the person that will make fun of you if your phone rings during the ceremony. Just to warn you, like, I will make fun of you, okay? Um, and I kind of, one of the things I love to do is tease and nag, nag these young adults. And uh, so I might, you know, you know, get a little misty at the thought that I won't get to nag them anymore. All right. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, I want to thank you for, com uh, for all coming out this afternoon and celebrating these young people. Uh, as you are all aware, we are living through some pretty historic and somewhat traumatic, distressing times. I remember when I was, you know, these guys th this age, you know, 18, 19, and I was so worried. I was, I was in love with history, but I was so worried that I, w I had missed out on all the good stuff, that I'd never lived through history. And um, I think I've come to really regret th those wishes because, boy, have we lived through a lot of history, especially just lately. And I hope that these people, these young adults, really appreciate the history that they are a part of and learn that, you know, they may have lived through, you know, a pandemic, you know, a major civil rights movement and, you know, massive forest fires around the world, and not to mention the great toilet, toilet paper shortage of 2020. Okay. I mean, in 20 years' time, their kids are going to be asking them, you know, how much toilet paper did you buy? Right? And why do you, do you continue to wipe down all your groceries? You know, because we've developed this habit. On a side note, I have learned during this, this pandemic that um, I do touch my face an awful lot. I don't know about anybody else, but I have learned that from this, this pandemic. And also that I prefer the foamy hand sanitizer as opposed to the gel or the liquid. I kind of really like the foamy. So I hope that um, they learn to appreciate, you know, what they've learned from this, this situation. I also learned that I have ordered a lot, done a lot of online ordering. Okay. So lately I've just ordered a, a chicken and an egg from Amazon. And I'll let you know which comes first. All right. <laughs> Come on. All right. So before we start the graduate pro processional, I want to welcome Mr. Ben Spencer Sr. to welcome us to the traditional uh, Simshan ter territory. Mr. Spencer, sorry. <laughs> Well, <laughs> <laughs> Ben Spencer, do you are you? Lach, Lach Clan, do you want to go? Lach Skeek, do you dare you? And a train, do you want to go? 
Det är några av dem är ju saker dem till dem som är det här vill ha med sig så gärna. Det går dem att gå skurde som går av sig väl om det här är jag gärna. Ni är ju här själv kan ha oss att gå. Ni går av dina nöjer när det är ett årsgå det märkte när jag är här, när jag är här, ni går av den här hållet. Går det med att gå till dem, gärna. Ni är det bra, ni är det. Går det med att gå till dem. Oj. Som jag gett, så kan man ana. Jag har bara varit här. Så bättre skann det går som, så är det så. Ni går, så är det här i det går som. Så är det väl som. Så är det väl som. Har du väl som. Har du ha hau som. Alab noon, noosim. Will kalk sa ha audi na siwa laims kisim. A gim gik kul siwa laims kisim gik poisim da hak hach ach kisim. Se de sa ams walsim, sa ams a walsim. Ladies and gentlemen, chiefs, matriarch, all the young people here today, I welcome you on behalf of the Wapsakat Get Aboriginal Education Committee on the land of the Jimshan people. And first of all, I'd just like to thank the Creator for the beautiful day that you have today to celebrate your first chapter you remember I said first chapter, because what's ahead of you is another chapter. And you have to really think about what you want to do, because it's for yourself that you're going to be going ahead and moving on. The road that you're going to be following is yours to follow, no one else. And this is why I say today, I'm very honored to be here. And I say that there are a lot of times that we have our meetings with the school district. And what we have for myself, I am honored to be here because I've never graduated. I've never worn a gown like this, except the time that I graduated to our Somalia program, which was from 2006 to 2009. And a year later, I was um, got hired in a school. With me, I just want to say this quickly. With me, I use that as a tool because a lot of our people back then, residential school, Indian Day School, where I came from, we lost our language because of that era. And so I use this as a tool to carry on and teach the children the Somali language that I've learned over the years. And it wasn't until about 20, 20 some odd years it's the first time I ever spoke Somalia. And this is the reason why I say to all of you today, put up, keep working hard. Sam Jawan, do your best. It's yours to keep, it's your dream. And that's why I say today, my dream is here now to teach the young people the language that I was taught. 
because I had it in here. It wasn't up here, it was down here. The love that I had for the language. And I never ever thought, I still say that today. You know, the school that I went to, we were punished and I didn't want to go back to school. But here I am today, working in the school district to help with the language. So this was mine. This was mine. This is what I wanted. Because there's some people here from Metacapa that know me because I'm married to a lady from Metacapa. And I worked with Metacapa Water Taxi for about 30 years. I thought that was my love and dream until this language thing came up. Now, and I, I've been telling everyone that I was talking about retiring, but no, not now, because I love what I'm doing. This is my passion. And I hope that to all of you young people, that is a good, a good thing to hang on to. Follow your heart and not your mind, because with your mind, you can change it every second. This is what I heard when I was young from my grandfather. Your heart, you can follow that because it means a lot more. So with that, I'd like to say to all of you, thanks for being around here. And I'm going to be, you know, I, I like talking to the young people, even away from the school. And I hope that you have the best in your future because the future is yours. The dream is yours. The stars are for you to reach. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Spencer. That was lovely. All right. Um, so now it is time for the graduate processional. So I will introduce uh, each grad. Okay, are we ready? Thank you.
Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I did, I was going to introduce uh, Mr. James Horn, the chair of the school board, um, by, by saying a really cool joke, and so I can't give up the joke. It, it says, what's a cow's favorite party game? Musical chairs. And you see, it would move into that chair of the school board, you know, thing. come on, that would have been good. All right. I'd like to thank and respect the Simshan peoples, whose traditional territories we hold this ceremony on. I'd like to thank the staff for maintaining safe schools for us, and for the teachers, who, even though it's been difficult, have made the, given us a good learning place to be. But most of all, I'd like to thank the students themselves for keep giving good learning, even though it's been so hard to do so. And I'd like to thank the class of 2020 for inviting me to speak today. In my personal journey of truth and reconciliation, I find that I need, when I see or hear a racist situation, I need to speak up about it. I find it gets easier to do that the more often I do it. And then I gain confidence in myself that I'm doing the right thing. We need to have compassion and empathy. I'd also like to speak about having fun learning and that in my job I like to learn all the time. I also find that I try to do jobs where I'm learning new things. I really enjoy that. But most of all it's just best to have fun. Congratulations class of 2020. Congratulations Pacific Coast School. The class of 2020 is definitely one for the history books. This is likely not the grad you planned on but this virtual ceremony still recognizes your hard work and accomplishments. Your teachers, parents, and your family members are so proud of you. Congratulations to all of you and all the best in your endeavors. Uh, so we do have uh, another guest speaker, um, but before I introduce her, I, I do have yet another joke, sorry. Um, uh, what is a kangaroo's favorite kind of music genre? Hip-hop. <laughs> now, this is, this is quite good because um, our acting superintendent, Sandra Jones, actually orig originates from the land of the kangaroos. So it just all works together, right? Okay, so uh, here to uh, gi um, give an address to the, our speakers is our acting superintendent, Sandra Jones. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rice. That was, uh, I, I can't follow that, really. I, I think I'm done. I don't have a joke. I do want to say uh, a little something to grads. How proud of you. That's awesome. You guys, makes me want to just, you're up. Good job. This is a pretty special day in their lives, and it's a pretty special year because of the whole COVID-19 piece, so we're pretty grateful that this has all come about, for sure. And I really want to thank you, thank the staff and whoever was responsible for inviting me today, because really, I'm just stepping in in a moment, and it happened to be this moment. I want to congratulate the parents for getting them this far because you did a lot of work as well. I want to congratulate the teachers and the families and that whole village that it takes to bring these people here today. This is so awesome. And then I had to think long and hard. I've seen a lot of uh, grad addresses and, and it seems from my research that most grad addresses are about advice. So I thought for a long time, you know, okay, advice, what advice could I give these people? Yeah, I, I got nothing. I, I don't have any advice to give, really. But then I thought, oh, well, maybe I've got some good habits that I can impart to them today. So I'm going to be brief because I only have three habits that I want to talk about. The first habit is one that I just stole from Dr. Bonnie Henry because she's been sort of a very clear voice in guiding us through COVID-19. And that is be kind. And it's a habit of kindness. 
And really, there is no downside to being kind, to accepting that sometimes we disagree and sometimes we don't like the way things go, but it never hurts to do a kindness. And so I hope that each of you as grads here and all of us can continue to develop that habit of being kind because really it doesn't hurt and it just might help as we move forward in life. The second habit I want to talk about sort of kicks off from something that Mr. Spencer said, something that the principal said, and that is about this beautiful planet that we're on, and in particular, the Simshan territory that I feel grateful to be, to be able to live on and feel welcomed on. Uh, and it is pristine and beautiful in every way, but some people don't treat it like that. Sometimes people litter. And since I retired, you know I've only come back to work for a month, so before that I was retired and I'd wander around town and I was, I was heartbroken by, by the litter. Just people who drink their big gulp and toss it down. And this might not seem like a big deal, but for me it sort of represents how we treat our planet and how we treat everything around us. And so it's a habit I hope that everyone will, will take on is just put your stuff in the trash bin, maybe pick up someone else's trash once in a while, and honor this beautiful land. It's a habit. I hope you'll agree with me that it's a good thing to do. And the final habit might come as a bit of a surprise because it's not really what I ever hear people talk about much, but I hope each grad will take up the habit of running because running really helps you your heart and lungs, it will make you feel fit and good, and it clears the head. And this is complicated. The world is a complicated place. And sometimes if you can just clear your head, you can come to great decisions. Running will do that for you, I promise you. There's never any time where you go for a run, long or short, fast or slow, where you won't at the end of it go, yeah, that was great. I'm really glad I did that. You never regret going for a run. Three habits, that's all. Run to clear your head, keep yourself healthy, and think through thoughts. Pick up your own litter, maybe pick up other people's, keep this planet beautiful, and just be kind. After that, you can get all the advice you want from your parents and from everyone else, all the really clever people on TV and stuff, and they'll tell you all kinds of good things to do. But I promise you, if you do those three things, this won't be a bad world. I really appreciate that I was invited here today to impart three very small things. I'm really proud and honored for these people who have made such an impact on their own lives right now and have such a long way to go in their second act, as Mr. Spencer says. And I wish them all the very best. Toxit Newsom. Thank you, Ms. Jones. Those are lovely habits, except the running part. That just seems kind of crazy, but they're young enough. They can still do it. I can't start, so that's OK. OK, uh, we have another address. This time, we have, it, have a graduate address. It actually had, it had another name that started with a V. I can't pronounce that word. So I just changed it to the, the graduate address. Okay. Uh, last year, I tried to say the word, and it was just a, it was just a, a big mess. So I changed it. So this young lady was voted in by her peers to give give a address. Um, so I would like you to please welcome Kiara Ryan. And helping her deliver the address tonight is Gage Ryan Devison. Thank you. Good afternoon, and thank you all for being here to celebrate the, the Pacific Coast School graduating class of 2020. I'm honored and blessed to be the one to be given the opportunity to speak today to express how happy and proud I am of my graduating class. We did this. <laughs> 
Our years in high school may be over, but our next chapter in life is starting now. Our years in high... Oh, <laughs> I'm sad that I won't be seeing you guys every week, but I'm glad that we all got through these last few months together. And now look at us, <laughs> sitting here in front of some of the people that we love. And over the past few years, I've made some great memories with some amazing people, going on adventures, learning new things, and get to do, get to do things that I've never gotten to do before. I'll cherish those memories forever and never forget them. High school was a wave of emotions. We all went through stuff that still sticks with us today, but it didn't stop us from achieving this accomplishment. I'm so proud of all of us, and I'm so blessed to be standing here with all of you today. Congratulations, Congratulations the graduates of 2020. Yeah, that's what that <laughs> Good job. You guys did great. You guys should be very proud of yourselves. Uh, yeah. Actually, we should be, I'm very proud of all of them, and I think that they should be very proud of themselves. They have worked so hard uh, just to get to this, this spot. So we've, we've come to the time in the ceremony in which we are to hand out the, uh, what do you call it, the diplomas, <clears throat> and apparently sweaters too. Appar Surprise! Okay. Um, also, I have to warn you that um, this year I tried to get the students to, you know, do bits of their own write-ups, uh, warning them that if they didn't, that uh, I would write it for them. And I thought that this would be a threat. Apparently not. Uh, apparently they're all looking forward to what I have to say about them. Well, which, you know, which was, was interesting, although very hard. You should see me on, yesterday. I, I was like crazed with like last minute could, trying to come up with things to say that were both true and funny and some of it's not true. Um, I did make, make up a whole bunch of stuff, so you'll never know which is which. Um, you know, well, maybe you will. Like, I mean, if I tell you that, tell you that, you know, so and so is wanting to be a trampoline tester, you probably are going to think that that's made up. So. Uh, we're going to get started here. Are we ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Our first graduate is Madison Abrahams. All right. Okay. Good job. Yeah, good job, Madison. Okay. Madison has been at PCS for a number of years and lights up the place whenever she attends. She has worked hard to complete her adult grad. After graduation, she plans to study the history of rap music, traveling the world to educate the youth of tomorrow. Madison would also like to open up a mobile smoothie bar, designing and making innovative and tasty smoothies. I told you, if you don't contribute, this is what I come up with. I wait right? Seriously, I, I can see the lineups now. She wants to thank the staff at PCS for all their support and inspiring her dreams. She also wants to thank her, thank her sisters, her mom, and her foster parents. Congratulations, Madison. We wish you all the best. <laughs> smoothie, smoothie. <laughs> Right. We need a smoothie. I need a smoothie. We need, like, maybe in, like, a mobile food truck I or know, something. Right? And it, like, pop up out in I random need places. A right now. Yeah, really exactly. A, all right. Our next graduate is Kiara Ryan. <laughs> Kiara has been a stunning addition to PCS and will definitely be missed. She has worked hard to get her adult grad so she can be a positive role model for her daughter Maya. During her time at PCS, Kiara has honed her skills as a seamstress and knitter. In a matter of weeks, she has taught herself how to knit, and that is only the beginning. She plans on going to knitting school so that one day she can design her own sweater patterns and teach knitting classes. I know I will be one of her students one day, because I still don't know how to knit. She wants to thank her mom, Jalen, and Jalen's parents for all the encouragement and motivating her to do well. Congratulations, Kira, on completing your adult grad, and good luck in the future. We're all good this 
Okay, you got it? You ready? Okay. All right. Yeah. Our next grad is Amelia Clifton. Okay. Amelia has been a wonderful student at PCS. She has left a beautiful mark on our school, especially the ceiling tile that she has painted. We get many compliments on her work. She has a quiet, peaceful nature, which has been a wonderful addition to PCS. In the future, she plans on going to culinary school to become an amazing baker, designing all-star cakes and croissants. In her spare time, she will write graphic novels aimed at young females, helping them to gain self-confidence and recognize their own inner beauty. She wants to thank all the teachers at PCS for the constant support and inspiration. And also, she would like to thank both of her grandparents and her mom for motivating her to do her work. Tonight, tonight, Amelia is receiving the Friendship House Bursary. Congratulations, Amelia. Good job. Okay, our next grad is Kyla Leland Barnaby. <laughs> okay. Kyla has worked hard this year to complete her courses. Her determination has been an inspiration to the other students at PCS. She has worked hard to paint a lovely ceiling tile that depicts a peacock and a peahen in a tree and also completing a stunning button blanket with help from her grandmother. Next year, Kyla plans on going to Terrace to complete the ECE course. She wants to thank her family for her, their support and inspiration. She wants to also thank her grandmother for helping her complete her button blanket. Congratulations, Kyla. And tonight, Kyla is receiving the Aboriginal Education Bursary. <laughs> Mr. Jones. Nope. Thank you. Okay. You don't want to lose those. No, I know. No, those are. Th bucks. Yeah, that's fifty dollars you're throwing away there. Okay, our next grad is Christina McKay. <laughs> there, she can make it up there in those heels. Oh my goodness. I won't do the kick. <laughs> <laughs> Christina has been a student at PCS since her grade 10 year. She has worked hard to complete her courses for her adult grad. She has shown amazing talent at sewing, completing a lovely quilt that was a very complicated pattern. Oh. After grad, Christina plans to start up her own ghost-busting company, hoping to find Elvis or Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, she ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> when... <laughs> Come back here, I'm not done. <laughs> when not charging her proton packs, Christina plans on supplementing her income by making YouTube vi videos on how to whistle with your fingers. <laughs> she wants to thank her grandmother for all the help and she loves her very much. Congratulations, Christina, on all that you have accomplished and best luck in the future. <laughs> okay, Alexis Mintenko. <laughs> <laughs> Alexis is a quiet and hardworking student and a wonderful addition to the student body at PCS. She's had much in the way, she has much in the way of artistic talent, which she plans on pursuing in the future by going to school to design water slides and roller coasters. Alex, Alexis plans on exploring the world, researching exotic water slides to inspire her own creations and seeing where life takes her. Uh, when she is done designing and exploring, Alexis wants to open her own beauty palace in between having seven kids and three pit bulls. <laughs> That's the part I didn't make up. Okay. She wants to thank her parents for all the inspiration and the rest of her family, especially her wax sister, for standing by her side. Best of luck, Alexis. We know you can accomplish great things. Tonight, Alexis is receiving the Realty Executives Bursaries. Good job. Gage Ryan Devison. This is also co written by Mr. Jans. During his time at PCS, Gage has developed quite a relationship with the punching bag, spending many a day either punching or kicking the bag, working the speed bag, or playing the piano. Lately, Gage has decided to buckle down and work hard to earn his adult grad. 
He has developed a strong relationship with Mr. Jans, who has helped him work, th work through many challenges that he faces. In the future, Gage plans on going to culinary school to further ex his exploration of French toast. <laughs> we will have to watch out for his French toast Instagram in the future. <laughs> it does taste good. Gage wants to thank Mr. Jans and Mr. P for working so hard to help him. He also wants to thank his mom and Morningstar. Congratulations on completing your adult grad. <laughs> Destiny Shaw. <laughs> Destiny is a hardworking young lady who loves ladybugs and butterflies. During her time at PCS, she had not only worked hard to get her adult grad, but she has honed her skills as a snowboarder and a baker of mini quiches. After graduation, Destiny plans on exploring trades, possibly going into welding or plumbing. I'm personally hoping for plumbing because my dishwasher still hasn't been installed after two and a half years. Okay, So I'm hoping, fingers crossed. When I asked her what her favorite movie was, she said Goonies, because Goonies never say die. <laughs> good luck, Destiny. We wish you all the best, and we always know that you will be a good Goonie because you never give up. <laughs> Ruben Steffler. <laughs> Don't be scared, Ruben. Ruben has been at PCS for a number of years and has added his acerbic humor to the school environment. His dark poetry makes us think deep and often about life itself. His talents are limitless. We see a bright future for this young man. I see him building a future as a full-time dungeon master, creating thrilling stories and adventures that attract D&D players from around the world. Today, he is receiving the District Authority Bursary. Congratulations, Ruben, and best of luck. Tassel. Tassel. Oh. There we go. Good job, good job. <laughs> okay. And Samantha Robinson. <laughs> the ever energetic Samantha has been an interesting addition to PCS for many years. When asked what her favorite movie was, she said Dirty Dancing because nobody puts baby in a corner. <laughs> Samantha has many talents and plans on putting those talents to use by going to school to become a professional Netflix watcher, watcher and sharing her views on her blog. In all seriousness though, Samantha told me that she wanted to especially thank her uncle Sundance, who couldn't be here today as he's working hard down south. She says that he made sure that she was getting to school and trying to get her work done, and it is because of him that she is standing here today. He even went so far as making it possible for her to wear this beautiful dress, which is of course covered by the gown, but she loves him very much and is very thankful to him. And we will miss you very much, Samantha. All right. Good job. Okay. Let's give another round of applause to our gorgeous grads. Okay. Now, one last corny joke. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho, Nacho cheese. cheese. Okay, that wasn't even original. All right, all right. Okay. Well, now for something original, our principal, Mr. Jans. Well, I don't know how original, but we'll try. Okay, so before writing with my last words here to everybody, I confabulated with our wondrous orator and eloquent wordsmith, Miss Rice, on why nobody laughs at my jokes. Well, that's easy, she said. Nobody can understand what the heck you're saying. So... I'll try not to use any more words like confabulated and orator. Miss Rice raises a good point, though. Adaptation. Adaptation is the idea that a living thing can change in an effort to become more successful. I'm sure you've all heard of COVID-19. Stop me if you haven't. This virus has adapted itself in a way that has made it very successful. So successful that it has changed the course of human lives and governments everywhere. It has changed the course of this very graduation ceremony. If there was no COVID-19 virus, we would have more family members here. We'd probably be at the Lester Center and other things. 
And sometimes it gives a nice new fresh perspective because honestly, I wouldn't have thought of doing this venue and it's a very great venue and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Yet, in light of the virus's uh, adaptation to infect humans, humans are adapting to limit the virus's success, which is why we have you all spaced two meters apart and are doing stuff to socially distance. But I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Our grads are, uh, of 2020 are tumbling into a troubled world with killer pandemics, climate change, xenophobic populism, and a rising racial and geopolitical tensions. Adaptation will be key to this generation's success. I'm reminded of J.R. Tolkien's dialogue between Frodo Baggins and Gandalf the Grey. Frodo is upset because of all the horrible things happening in his world. Frodo wishes he didn't have to live in a world with so much violence and pain. He wants to live in a more peaceful time. The dialogue goes like this. I wish it need not have happened in my time, says Frodo. So do I, Gandalf and so do all who live to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what we do with the time given to us. So that is the question to these grads. What will you do with this time given to you? How will you adapt? How will you help our world to adapt to the challenges ahead? Despite the darker aspects of the world around us, we have the shining light of this generation and our grads today. I know this generation will make us proud and correct the wrongs of previous generations. I have personally seen each and every graduate up here adapt to the challenges given to them. You will all do us proud. So let's give a big round of applause to our grads and the great things they will accomplish. Uh, in closing, I would also like to thank all the family and friends we have here today and those who might be watching on live stream, I hope that's still going, and who will watch on the video that we are making. So if your family and friends aren't here, I know a lot of times people invite uh, from far and wide, but we will be posting it. I got really good audio, I hope, so it should be good. As Thomas Merton said, no man is an island, and these grads could not have done it without you and the support of all of you. Thus, I think it is appropriate if our grads give you and our teachers and everybody a big round of applause. So stand up, you guys. Come on, give them applause. Okay, fine. Yeah. Woo! You guys rock. You know what? It sounds way better and smaller to stay open air. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, you guys. I would also like to thank all our hardworking PCS staff who have really put in the extra time and effort to give our community's children the skills they need to be successful. I know they really, truly care about making our grads the most successful grads that they can be. Every day I'm reminded of the amazing team that I've been gifted. Thank you for pushing our grads to be better than they thought they could. Please give our, our uh, uh, please give our PC staff, PCS staff, a round of applause. Woo! I think I just need some water. With that, we'll be proceeding with the recessional. Thank you, Miss Rice, for your impeccable work as our master of ceremony. This would not happen without you. I will leave you with the wondrous Miss Rice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, before the grad recessional, I also wanted to um, add on to what Mr. Jans said in thanking, in particular, thanking Mr. Jans for all the hard work he has done to get these kids to where they are today. He has spent hours with these with these guys and helping them, and it's beyond words uh, the work that he puts in. We also wanted to thank our teachers at PCS, uh, Lonnie Bryant, Christine Danroth, Jonathan Panhasek, and Patty Stone. Our Somaliac teacher, Ben Spencer. Our Aboriginal support workers, Marlene Clifton, Rebecca Smith, and Roy Superno. Our, also our youth workers, Solomon Garcia. Our educational assistant, Devin Stubel. And our secretary, Margaret Wesley. We've had a very interesting year at PCS, and I, I know for one that these people are going to miss these grads just as much as I am. Um, they've definitely... 
Well, is that a threat or a promise? <laughs> but I hope it's a promise because they've definitely imprinted on my heart. So now it's time for our recessional. Thank you and good night.